I've never met a father who's willing to just give his daughter away, but Jim, do I have your blessing in this marriage? Yes, Karen and I give our blessing. When Kelsey and Grayson asked me to officiate their wedding, I felt completely honored. I've been able to be a part of their relationship from the beginning and see them grow, and I just couldn't imagine not being a part of their day. So, I turned to what I know, and I'm a science teacher, so I figured I needed to start to collect some data. I started asking everyone I knew, and even strangers that I ran into, what they wished they knew when they got married, or what they thought it meant to have a strong marriage. When I asked my four-year-old and some of her friends, um, they said that you need to know how to snuggle and give really good hugs. Between all the trips we've taken, all the nights we've stayed in, and all the nights that turned into mornings, I could stand up here for hours and tell you how much I love my best friend. Uh, but I know that you all feel the same. I asked my sixth graders, and they wanted Grayson to know, in order to be a good husband, you need to surprise Kelsey with flowers all the time. You need to respect her opinion and help with the chores around the house. When you come home from work, don't ever be angry. <laughs> they said, um, you can look past the hard times and remember to always go on dates. And it's okay to forgive each other when you're angry. Also, you should try to give a piece of your heart instead of a piece of your mind. You can't fix each other, you just have to love each other. Couples that were married for 20 years or more, their overall theme was that marriage survives on three pillars, trust, respect, and love. I, w I want everybody just for a second to take a look around, and, and Kelsey and Grayson especially. You, you, have, to, you have to look at this because uh, this is this is for you, okay? There, these people are here to celebrate you. You've been searching for a soulmate really all your life. You didn't know it was going to be each other, but you, you were doing that, right? So congratulations, you found each other, and I think that's really special. And now you're united as one. how you feel for the rest of your lives right now. It'll get you through anything in your life. So remember it. When we brought you home from the hospital, I was terrified. It was quite a challenge. Um, how am I going to raise a little girl? That's all I can think of. And um, I have to say that you've made me a great dad. I always heard about Kelsey from Grayson, but I'd never actually met her. And two Christmases ago, my children and I, we had recently moved to Australia and we flew back to New Zealand to collect some things and we stayed at mum and dad's house. It was about one o'clock in the morning and I had my young daughter and my baby son asleep in bed with me and I heard these tiptoeings around mum and dad's house. I was asleep in my underwear and there was lights flashing everywhere and I had no idea what was going on. I suppose the dad and me got freaked out someone was burgling the house and I just jumped up out of the bed and went screaming through two doors into the lounge and kind of just yelled out, who are you? Like, what? Like, I, sp I said more colourful language than that. But I heard Grayson in the background go, Oh, Josh. And Kelsey turned around. <laughs> and I had to jump behind a couple of other things. I was quite embarrassed. That, that was my introduction to Kelsey. 
Yes, Dad, I had my underpants on. You're a fine young man. Your mom and dad just have to be so proud. And I know you're going to love and take care of my little girl forever. You are a welcome addition to our family. You're a blessing. Karen and I are so happy to be able to watch you and Kelsey create your life adventure together. This is amazing. I couldn't imagine any other way to spend the last decade, <laughs> and it's been one hell of a ride. <laughs> so I've gone from calling Kelsey a friend, a best friend, a confidant, a soulmate, and my other half. Grayson. <laughs> no, but really, Grayson, I honestly could not imagine handing her over to anyone else. I'm really grateful for my brother, and I'm really grateful for Kelsey. Um, it seems like in our time today that you don't always come across what they have. You don't see it every day, and it's just brilliant to see. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of any human relationship. And no ceremony can do that. It's you guys. You are the ones who make this marriage. You have to love each other and have patience. You have to have some dedication and perseverance. You need to talk, but most of all, you have to listen. Help each other and support each other. You have to have tenderness and laughter. I think you have the laughter piece. Really good. Um, learn to forgive and learn to make the important things matter the most and let go of all the rest. I think that everyone who knows Kels will agree with me when I say that she's just such a genuine, like, amazing person. And um, she's the type of person that walks in a room and you just instantly, like, it just lights up. I kind of think that speaks volumes to, like, who Kels and Grayson are as human beings. I think they have this innate quality where you meet them and you feel like you've known them for your whole entire life. And that's really rare and really special. Um, I know for me, I take a while to warm up people, but it wasn't like that with Grayson. It kind of just was like, hey, you know? Looking back to our beginning, even now, it still amazes me that our paths ever crossed, let alone turned into the amazing love story that we call ours. Grayson, you approach life in a uniquely beautiful way. Your zest for adventure is matched by your comfortability with things being just how they are. Your personal intention is perfectly balanced with your interests that you take in all people and things around you. You know yourself, and you love yourself for who you are, and that makes it impossible not to fall in love with you. I still remember the day I proposed to you just when you came out of your toilet. And I was, <laughs> and I was kneeling on the ground, and instead of asking me to marry you, I just said, what do you reckon? You said yes, and then you said, you know, on our wedding day, you actually could say something nice to me in front of people. <laughs> So here we are. Um, I think this is what the whole wedding's come down to. I promise to always continue to try to impress you. <laughs> to always look to change, to make things better, to always improve and be the person that we need me to be. So that we can continue to grow, to develop and to become the people that we always talk about who we want to be.